Hello friends, welcome back to Dainty Gifts School of Decor and Decoupage. Today we're going to have a little Christmas in July and decorate a wooden book box. The techniques shown in this video are perfect for beginners as they require very simple ingredients and are easy to do. First we're going to take care of the box and add our decoupage later when we're finished with all of the painting. I like to call the technique that we're going to be using for painting acrylic staining. It requires a lot of water so it's best to do it before decoupage so it does not seep under or inside of your decoupage paper. I picked out colours that I felt would look best with the decoupage picture. Since the scene is set in forest, I'm going with a green base. You should pick out colours that you feel would look best with your decoupage picture. Mix the acrylic paints together, then add quite a bit of water, mix them well. You want to have a very watery consistency, especially if you're just trying it out, start with a very watery, not very pigmented consistency. It's easier to build the colour up than down. Apply this stain all over the box, then let it dry. Once dry, use sandpaper to smooth out the wood. It's normal for wood fibre to lift when using water or water-based products. Next, we'll move on to shading and blending to make the box blend with the picture. Darken up the mixture and using an angled brush start applying it onto the box. This time apply it in a brushing motion, dragging paint from the edges towards the center. If you don't have an angled brush, use a small flat brush instead. When you're happy with the amount of dark, mix up an acrylic stain for highlights. I used yellow ochre and white to get a shade close to the creamy sky on the picture. Use the same application method, but try to match the areas where there's more light in the background on a decoupage picture. Work in small sections, quickly wiping the excess paint away to allow for a gradual build-up of the highlights. Keep applying the picture to where it will go so you can see where you need to add more highlights. If you feel like your paint is getting thicker, dip your brush in water as you work to reactivate it.
Using the same principle, add highlights to the inside of the box. Now that you're done with the staining, add some sparkle if you wish. I use sparkle paste, but glitter and glue will do the same good job. Use a brush to help apply the paste where you want a bit of sparkle. Now go ahead and seal your box with a few coats of water-based varnish. I chose to use matte, you could use any finish you like, however if you are a newbie I would recommend matte finish as it masks the brush strokes a little bit better than gloss. We're doing this to protect what we've already done and to make sure that the paint doesn't seep through onto your decoupage picture when you go to apply it. Now we move on to decoupage. This picture that I'm using is a front of an old Christmas card. This paper is very thick so I spray it with water and let it soak for a few minutes. Water loosens up the card fibres, allowing glue to seep in better and allowing a smooth application. Please keep in mind that if you want to use napkins or rice paper for decoupage instead, you will need to leave that area white so that you can see the image clearly. Once my paper is soaked, I dab away the excess water and apply a coat of Mod Podge onto the front of the box. Then apply the card. The card I'm using is very thick like I said, so I had to hold the edges for a little bit to stop them from rolling away. Next apply another coat of Mod Podge and let it dry. When Mod Podge is dry, take a little bit of white paint and a sponge dabber or a piece of dish sponge and add a little bit of frost to the edges of the box. Make sure you only have a little bit of paint on your sponge at all times. When you're happy with the amount of frost you've added, apply a few more coats of varnish to the whole box.
Once you're finished with varnishing, use ribbon or anything else you can think of to mask the edges of the decoupage card. I used glittery ribbon, you could use lace, liquid pearls, rhinestones and many other things instead. And there you go, we made a simple but pretty decoupage box using very simple materials. Of course, I showed you how to do it on a book shaped box, but you could use any other shape you like. Have you guys started your Christmas season prep yet? Let me know in the comments because I want to know if I'm the only one doing Christmas decoupage in July. As always, products used will be listed down below. If you would like to connect with me on any of the other social media, links to everything are going to be in the description down below as well. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more like this, then subscribe. Lots of love from my house to yours, and I will see you in another video. Bye!